Crown Dundee High School in Carpentersville were evacuated this morning following reports of shots fired. Eric Wong is live at the school with the very latest. Eric. Well, good morning to the both of you. We did just get some information from the village here that said no one was hurt here at Dundee Crown High School this morning. However, if you take a look around here, you can see that there is just an awful lot of parents. You can look up the street here. All of the uh, streets that surround the high school here are just crowded with cars. Parents trying to figure out exactly what happened here this morning. That's something that we're all trying to figure out. There's a lot of confusion of exactly what happened, but about nine o'clock there was some sort of report that there was an active shooter here at the school. After that, the school went into a hard lockdown. Students were told to barricade themselves inside of their classrooms. We have been in contact with a couple of them who then say that police officers came in with guns and checked those rooms before then evacuating them out of the building itself and onto the grounds here. And they were all kept uh, together. Parents were kept outside of that area. We are now being told that the students are going to be escorted back into the school after it has been cleared now. Again, no one has been injured. We don't even know if for sure there were shots fired here this morning. Now, Dante Roman is a senior. He was about ready to go into the school when he heard all of this commotion going on. Dante, first of all, thanks. But uh, tell us what what uh, happened when you walked up to school here. Um, it's exactly as you said, right? So I come in here around nine in the morning um, with my trombone and everything ready to get the day started. And apparently there's police. We see a bunch of them running around towards like um, more so the junior lot, the tennis lot, telling us like, hide and just to get down and move, right? So we're immediately getting out, hop into the car. I go over to my friend's house and we lay low. Um, my sibling was still in there, my sister actually. So I texted her making sure she was safe. She was what was she telling you what was going on in um, the school? Well, what she was telling me was that, that um, she was safe, that she was just barricaded in a room, um, in the media room. And she heard like knocking and then the police came in to check her classroom. I was hearing the same from other people too that I was texting, that it was just really safe. Um, allegedly, like apparently I heard people talking about shots and that somebody had to say drop the weapon, but that's all allegedly like, I don't know if that's actually what has happened. Or uh, police have given us very few details as of yet. They are telling us that they're going to be bringing us more details as this situation continues to develop out here. Dante, thank you so much. I appreciate I'm glad your yes. sister's safe, glad you're safe, glad everyone is safe out here. Once again, uh, we are hearing from the village right now that no one was injured out here. We're still trying to figure out if there were actually shots fired that sent this school into that hard lockdown and had police going classroom to classroom and clearing each classroom and then evacuating all of the students out to the grounds outside of the high school here. We, of course, are expecting a lot more information uh, from the police, from the village, and we'll also be talking to a lot more students and parents out here. Parents, by the way, uh, obviously still kind of in shock. Uh, when you get an email, you get a phone call from the school saying that there could be an active shooter there. So we're going to have much more on that. We're going to stay on top of this. For now, uh, we are live in Carpentersville. I'm Eric Rung, WGN News. All right, Eric, thank you. While you continue to follow that, we bring you this.